Hey guys, this morning I was going through my YouTube analytics just to see how videos were performing and maybe see if I could come up with some new ideas for some additional videos. One of the videos that I noticed that was still in like my top four or five was a video that I made months ago about how to set up a Raspberry Pi Motion iOS um, surveillance system, um, kind of on the cheap, uh, just with some webcams and that sort of thing. And so I decided I would kind of go back and revisit that, see if there was anything I missed, anything I could make a video on to elaborate or, or introduce new things to that sort of thing. So I set up a Raspberry Pi with Motion iOS, plugged in a webcam, went in and added it like normal, and the camera didn't work. Um, a, 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 like a loading image popped up that was just kind of swirling around, but nothing worked. And so I thought, well, maybe maybe there's something wrong with the new version. So I went back to a version from last year um, and tried that and had the same results. And so then I went and started digging around a little bit online and found uh, the GitHub repository where there were uh, people having similar issues. And I realized then that it was actually the newest version of Chrome that was causing the issue, not the newest version of most iOS. So as it turns out, uh, Chrome 76, the, the newest version that's out, has enabled lazy loading images by default. And that seems to be the culprit in this case. So uh, what I want to do is kind of show a couple of different ways you can get around that, uh, a couple of quick, easy fixes, um, and just kind of wanted to show you how you can get your camera back online or give you some alternatives on how you can uh, access your video streams. So uh, let's jump over to my desktop and we'll take a look. Okay, so here we are on my desktop, and uh, when I first got the Raspberry Pi set up, this is what I was seeing. This is that that spinning icon that I was talking about that um, doesn't let me see anything. And so, of course, then I tried uh, older versions and got the same result. And then I was like, well, sometimes browsers can cause issues. So I went over to um, Edge, which I hate using, but uh, there it is. And all of a sudden I noticed that things were working. So that kind of told me um, before I really did a lot of digging online that uh, there was something wrong with the browser that I was using. And uh, like I've already mentioned in, in the video earlier, it turns out that lazy loading the images in the newest version of Chrome is the issue there. Um, so what I've got, what, what, so there's a couple of things that you can do here. One, obviously you can go use Edge, but that doesn't work if you're on an Android phone. So the other thing that you can do is pop open a new tab here, and I will put this, um, this Chrome URL flag thing um, in the description down below so that you can uh, find it more easily. But uh, basically if you go in there and you click, a, you click from default to disabled, um, and then click relaunch now, hopefully this won't uh, do anything too crazy here. And we'll go ahead and log back in. Just, I've got default stuff set up here, so we'll go ahead and do that. And all of a sudden it, it's working. So, um, so that's one of the things you can do is you can disable lazy loading images. Um, it will of course affect um, other uh, websites that you're visiting, that sort of thing. Uh, but that's just kind of one of the sacrifices you'll have to make for now. So this is the GitHub repository, the GitHub page, uh, the issues page where people started noticing this issue and reporting on it. And uh, this is actually where I first noticed it, uh, that it was actually this version of Chrome that was causing the issue. So uh, I kind of scrolled through here and saw, yeah, people were having the same issues, uh, that sort of thing. And then I scrolled down a little further and here's where the developer actually comes in and says, hey, there's version uh, 041 um, RC1 uh, has been published and I was able to get that to work. Um, I installed it, I added my camera like normal, but um, the one thing that I can say is that it took probably a couple of minutes for my camera to actually show up. Um, it, was, it wasn't a huge deal, but um, again, it's not ideal. So, um, I was able to use RC1. I will link to that uh, in the description below as well, so you can download that and try it if you want to. Uh, this kind of solves the problem, and I think it's going to put them on the path to getting by uh, the, the Chrome uh, lazy load issue fix that they've got for now. Okay, so there you go. There's uh, what I was able to figure out to get a 
kind of a fix for this, uh, whether you use the new version, you know, that release candidate one, or you go in and you disable lazy load, or you use Edge or a different browser that doesn't have lazy load enabled. Um, those are kind of the, the ways I've been able to figure out how to get around this for the time being. Uh, if you're having this issue, I wouldn't encourage you to go over to uh, that GitHub um, issues page and follow it so you can be notified when new releases or new fixes have been um, published, that sort of thing. Uh, but until then, anyway, now you've got a couple of options on how you can gain access to your streams again. So if you found the video helpful, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. Um, if you know somebody who's having this issue, definitely share it with them. And, um, and that would be hugely greatly appreciated if you would do that. So if you like this kind of content and tutorials and how to's the occasional product review, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, maybe hit the notification bell. Um, but I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up as always. Thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.